Hey, what's good, YouTube? So I told you I would tell you guys about attenuators. Here's a quick video on controlling your volume using attenuators. I've got several different types types here I'm gonna tell you about, which ones I recommend and how to use them. So let's go ahead and talk about why would you even want an attenuator? One, it's gonna protect your, your hearing. You don't wanna get tinnitus. You don't wanna get hearing loss from playing too loud. So make sure you're using an attenuator. Uh, if you live with neighbors, you live in an apartment like I do, you have roommates, and uh, let's be honest, guitar amps are ridiculously loud. This is gonna help maintain harmony with your roommates and neighbors. It's gonna keep the volume down. It's gonna make it easier for you to practice during the day or at night, whenever you want to. Um, if you record guitar through your amp, it's gonna help you record better. Um, you're gonna get better tone at lower volume. And also, very important, it's gonna make it so that you can use any amp you want to use. So I see this question all the time for especially beginners, and they're like, you know, what amp can I get that's not gonna be super loud? And they're looking at wattage, and they're looking at, uh, you know, do I, do I use a five watt amp or a seven watt amp or a 20 watt amp or a one watt or a half watt? And they're looking at wattage and looking at speaker size and all this stuff. Guys, you can get any amp you want. I'm using this orange micro dark, by the way. That piece of tape is just covering up the, uh, the on light, the, the status light, because it's ridiculously bright. But I love this amp. I highly recommend it. I am using an attenuator on it. I'm using this JHS. I'll get to that in one second. Let me finish talking about um, one thing first. All right, let's talk about sound volume. And before we get into attenuators, I highly recommend you get a sound level meter like this so that you can actually um, measure how loud you're being. I'll go ahead and turn it on, show you guys how this works. Super easy. <clears throat> and you can see like normal conversation, I'm already at around 65 decibels. And I can slow it down with like this, makes it a little easier to see but normal conversation is around 65 decibels, okay? So a recommended range for playing um, or for any activity, for anything you're doing during the day is gonna be around 60 to 80 decibels. That's pretty much normal, um, acceptable volume activity. So if you're living in an apartment and, and um, you're wondering if you're playing too loud or people are complaining, or maybe people aren't complaining, but you're just wondering how loud you're being, um, try to keep it around 80 decibels. 80 decibels is as loud as a vacuum cleaner, to give you an idea, okay? Now you can also push it a little bit higher, like 85 decibels, um, just it depends on where you're measuring. So if you have the, the decibel meter like right into your amp like, like this, then it's gonna give you a louder reading than if you have it across the room, for instance. You're gonna you're gonna lose about five decibels just measuring across the room. So um, try to measure a couple feet away from your amp so that you're getting a, an accurate reading of what it sounds like in the room and not just coming you know two inches out of uh, out of the speaker. Okay. But enough about that. Um, let's talk about attenuators. Okay. <clears throat> there's different types the number one type I recommend is this one right here this JHS uh, it's called little black box little black amp box okay it's super simple no batteries it works in your effects loop though that's the key so your amp has to have an effects loop if your amp doesn't have an effects loop you can't use this so you have to have an effects loop all right the effects loop for those who don't know is a special port on your amp that goes between the preamp and the power amp, okay? <clears throat> if you have one, buy this. You can buy it off Amazon. It's like $65. It works great. It's dead simple. You just plug it in. It works just like a volume knob. And um, what more can I say about it? That's the best, okay? The best of the best. Now, if you don't have an effects loop, then you've got to use one of these others, okay? <clears throat> Let's say you're using 
a solid state amp, a very cheap solid state amp. Like I was using this one for a while, this five millimeter. There's no effects loop on here. It's a two watt solid state amp. It just has an input and an output. For that, you're gonna need something like this. This is a pedal attenuator. It just goes in front of the, it goes, you know, you plug your guitar in here or your pedals, whatever, will come on the front side. And then this goes to your amp. So amp to your amp input, and this goes to your speaker, okay? Now, if you're also using like a Fender Frontman or some kind of cheap solid state amplifier with no effects loop, this will also work great. It's just gonna work like a volume knob, okay? That's all it's doing. Um, I tried one of those Fender Frontman amps thinking it would be low volume. I mean, most amps are just ridiculously too loud. So an attenuator is pretty much essential. You pretty much need one, okay? Now, if you're using a tube amp and you don't have an effects loop, then you're gonna need something like this, okay? <clears throat> this is a Weber attenuator. Uh, this is a little more expensive. This was like $200. You have to buy it off their website. And it's the most complicated and the most expensive and the largest and the heaviest. Um, but if you're using a tube amp, then this is what you're gonna need. This is gonna go between your, your amp output and your speaker cabinet input okay now if you're using a combo amp then you're gonna have to see if this will work for you or not okay um, you may have to do some special wiring it's just gonna plug in through here okay <clears throat> but um, if you're using a separate head amp head and a speaker cabinet then it's just gonna you're just gonna plug your amp into here and then your speaker cabinet will just plug into here. It's just gonna go in between. And this will also reduce um, electrical noise like the 60 cycle hum. This will get rid of that. And it'll give you a, a treble boost and you just set your resistance here and this will work as your volume, okay? Uh, like I said, if you have a combo amp though and, it's, and your amp is just wired straight into the speaker, this may not work for you. It's just gonna depend on what you're using. So that is what I have for you guys. Um, make sure you're using a, an attenuator and let me know if this helped you pick one out or um, what kind of amp you're gonna be running. Let me know what kind of amp you're gonna be running with your attenuator. All right guys, so thank you for checking in with me today and I'll see you next time. Take care.